Hello, welcome to Tech Dive AV Club. Now we're in Movie Studio 17 Platinum and we're going to create silhouettes and shadows and all sorts of cool things that you can do with a chroma key effect. So this is actually surprisingly simple for how neat the effect is. First off, before we get started, I'm going to select this picture in picture track and delete it. It's going to get in our way. So next, I'm going to drag my Korok on a blue screen to the timeline and here we go. It's just a Korok that I've cut out and put on a blue screen. The first thing we need to do is actually chroma key this to where the blue actually goes away. The green screen effect, blue screen effect, that's just called chroma key. It's the idea that you're getting rid of an entire color. So we're going to go to, um, I'm going to raise this up one track, and then I'm going to go to media generator so I can have something to put behind it. And let's look at noise texture, no, color gradients. Here we go. Let's grab the sunburst, throw it behind it. Just leave it at the default settings. Let's cut off the parts we don't need. There we go. So now, when we go to video effects, we can actually go to the chroma keyer, which is how we're going to get rid of the blue behind it. We're going to drop the blue screen on it, and it's going to look like it works pretty instantly for me, but for you, it's probably not. And the reason why is because I have a pretty isolated blue color. So for every green screen, now I have a green screen tutorial that is much more in-depth on how to do green screens. It's in Vegas Pro, but it's the same thing. I'm going to redo that tutorial eventually, but I've not gotten there yet. The cliff notes of it are, make sure that you've used this dropper from the color selection to grab the most common blue in the background. Mine is all one solid color blue, so that's going to work pretty well. And then you can actually use this low threshold and high threshold to kind of tighten up your chroma key to make sure that there's no extra blue blur behind it or anything, or green shadow or whatever. And uh, for your chroma key, you'll probably have to drop the low and high thresholds together to, uh, to kind of zero in on that perfect chroma key to kind of get some of your skin back. But for, for me, because it's a, this kind of a basic, basic green screen, this is all I'm going to have to do. So that being said, now let's get on to the silhouette part of it. So first off, here's a tool that's called Show Mask Only. This is actually to help you make a better green screen by letting you see what is being keyed out and what is not being key keyed out. But if you leave that checked, then you got a white silhouette. There you go. Success. We've already made the white silhouette. What if you wanted a black silhouette? Well, you can actually just go to invert. And now what inverting does, inverting just completely gives you the opposite colors. The opposite of white is black. So we just drop the inversion, 100% inversion on it. Now we've got a black silhouette. That's cool, right? And so we can even get more fancy than that. We can actually get rid of the silhouette. We can go to the secondary color corrector. The secondary color corrector is how you actually alter a singular color. And it can get really complicated, but for this video, it's pretty simple. Let's drop the default on it. Now, as long as your chroma key is first, all these are going to work. If you get these out of order, things are going to get out of wonky. So make sure in your effect chain up here, chroma key is first, color corrector is second. So in the color corrector, you want to go to chrominance, and here's where you just you can change the color. Works pretty well. Um, let's say we go to blue though, right? Some of these colors you don't really have a lot of options with. So I'm going to go to saturation. I'm going to bump up the saturation a little bit, and I'm going to decrease the gain. And with these saturation and gain settings, you can actually, and, and this color wheel here, you can actually kind of zero in on whatever color you're looking for pretty easily. Now let's say that you want to make a shadow. You don't want to make uh, just blue, right? You're not looking to make an iTunes commercial. You want to make a shadow. This is the one of the easiest ways to make a shadow here. Just go ahead and center your color dial and drop your gain all the way and you'll have a black outline. And so uh, and, and if you're having little dots and stuff appear, your low threshold is probably too high. So I'm going to drop that a little bit. There we go. So, so now in this color corrector here, I'm going to drop the alpha and there we go. Now you can see through the black. Now I have a shadow of a Korok. In Vegas Pro, you can actually make the shadow 3D and lay it as a th in, in, in the third dimension. You can't do that. Um, in Vegas, uh, you can't do that in Movie Studio. It's one of the few limitations Movie Studio has. And I, Movie Studio does not have a lot of limitations, but it does have a few. But you can, you know, go to your event pan crop like I did here. Not a tutorial about the event pan crop. But it is 
oh, I just want you to know, like, you know, this is an option. That is how to do silhouettes and shadows with chroma key green screen kind of stuff in movie studios. Thank you so much for watching. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more. If you're new to editing, please check out my new tutorials and also my Udemy course. I would love to give you get you plugged into the more resources I got. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.